Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld Empires of the Rim. So in the last episode we have been continuing working on the food base and things are moving along very nicely. We're uh, probably going to be mostly done today by the looks of it actually. Uh, we got most of our farm fields set out. We're lacking wood right now so we're kind of working on getting that coming in so we could finish that. We got our floors that need to get done of course but we did get all the walkways done I think for the most part. Uh, looks done to me, other than maybe the ones that go to the bridges. Uh, we also got the bridges up and running, so those are going to get built. And we have a crematorium coming as well. That way we can get rid of all these corpses. Uh, along with that, we've been cleaning our storage up a little bit because it's a little bit of a mess. And we're working on getting a comms console up and running so we can get rid of all these animals. Although, I did just set all the ducks to get killed. That way we can have them for meat. Although, I did just realize we, that doesn't really do us any good. Uh, we don't have a butchering table, so we're not going to butcher them. We're just going to sell them. Screw it. <laughs> uh, other than that, things are going fine over here. Not a whole lot going on anywhere. Um, we have a bit of a situation with our prisoners. We did get a new pawn, uh, Lutz, who is not who uh, was actually requested. I was requested a female instead of a male, uh, but we kind of ran out of names and I didn't know what to do with the pawn, so I just kind of made a quick solution. So, uh, prisoners, we're going to figure out who we actually want, uh, which is going to be a little bit more complicated now because I... Guess I'm going to have to get a, a third names list going so we can make sure we have enough because we're still going to need quite a bit more pawns. But uh, with that said, uh, what we could do is say you so basically I don't know what we need. We have a bunch of females. So you're female. You're fine. You're not someone we're grabbing anyways. You are a male um, and you are social. That does fit one of our people, if I remember correctly. Um, you're artistic construction plants, a male. Um, that would be a good cleaner, constructor type of person. Um, I, I don't know. So indecisive. I don't know who we should be grabbing or not. You know what? I, uh, for now, hey, cold snaps over. For now, let's not touch the prisoners. Um, it does obviously have the risk of them having a prison break. But what I'm going to do instead is this is the last episode of the recording session. Speaking of that, uh, we did name this base. Um, I did it two episodes ago and I forgot to mention at the beginning of the recording session. But... Uh, the winner of the name was Snacks of the Rim, uh, and it won by one vote. It was very close, but uh, yes, thank you for the name. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get a new names, a third names list going. Uh, so check your emails and your Patreon messages because they should be out, well, a couple days ago now, hopefully. Um, but that'll be the easiest way to go. So we'll, next episode, we'll start grabbing prisoners again because uh, we definitely are going to need a lot more pawns. Uh, just kind of looking at, you know, my time lapse that I'm working on. Um, I got like a hundred pawns there and always feels like I still need more. So I could see, even though we are a lot more bionified than I am over there and we got a lot more fancy stuff going on. Um, I could see us needing probably like a hundred people for our capital easily by the end. Uh, so, you know, just keeping it going would probably not be a bad idea. Uh, other than that, we did get a marble meteor. That doesn't hurt us at all. Uh, we don't need any of this crap. Uh, we can check this cargo if it lets me. Thank you. Uh, hey, free new training. Uh, now, that's not going to do us a whole lot of good here, so we'll have to send that back. Um, and our storage. Can we get these done? Oh, what? Where can we stick a manager's bench we need to get this going because it's going to drive me nuts not having this wood coming in so we don't need only mature trees we could have up to two stacks uh for now ish yeah that's about right uh we'll grab all trees except for the anima tree and that should be fine to manage uh we're going to want to get ourselves a managing bench and this is where the problem's going to come in because one we don't have wood in the first place uh and two we don't have anywhere to stick it I think that'll do. It's not ideal, but there's literally nowhere else I could see that has room other than like a bedroom. Speaking of that, we've got to get all the end tables and dressers and stuff going too. Uh, animal starvation, ducks. Hey, ducks, how about you uh, fuck off? You already ate all my damn food here. Uh, because, oh yeah, speaking of that, we've got to get food. We have no food here. <laughs> uh, how's our food here? We have 23 days of food. Um, What do we got over here? What's our best social? Last time. Oh yeah, last episode we also did send over a bunch of our growers uh, to this base, which we don't have enough beds for. Um, but our mercenaries are going to be gone at the end of the day, so I'll free up two more beds. And we can start sending some people back sometime soon, because we're basically done the construction. Uh, we need more wood, though. More wood. I forgot that I had to also cut. Um, 
Oh, there's, there's some wood going. Is that going to be enough to... Yeah, I think it's going to be enough to get us where we need to go for this. Uh, because we can say... Uh, butcher. Okay, do you guys have food? No. Those components did come in. So what we'll do... Hurt. Finish. Uh, this. Mmm, Kim. Uh, you're right there. Hey, Kurt, can you come right here for a sec, please? Kim, you took that. Can we now finish that, please? And Kim was just doing that. Whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll get this finished, and then we'll buy some food. Uh, hopefully, there will be a trader nearby. If not, I guess we'll just send some over. But like I said, we don't really have food to send over, so it's a bit of a problem anyways. Uh, we got some mad deer, which wouldn't be a problem if James wasn't all the way up there. Uh, we could also get these deconstructed. Um, and how's our slag looking fine? Did this get moved? Yes. Uh, so we can then get 53 more. We're almost done. James isn't going to make much distance on that. Seriously. Fine. That's fine. Okay, so then as soon as uh, we get these killed, which shouldn't be a problem, we can go save James. Uh, so then someone's probably already coming, but we're going to do it just because we're, we know we're closer. Uh, we can do an allow all, get everything hauled, uh, and then we come back here. Uh, so then we have no space for all that crap. I know, I know. Uh, what we could do, I guess, is get this loaded up with all the crap that we have right now. At least we'll have somewhere to stick it. Uh, so we'll do all weapons, and then uh, we will, I guess, go back through and make sure... Oh, actually... The weapons... Um, I guess we could keep the bolt action now. We'll send everything back. We'll get assault rifles. Everyone that came should already have weapons on them. But yeah, we'll get that set up so we can get out. Uh, and then this has been built. It needs power, and we don't have enough power. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, every step of the way, there's another problem. Um, well, I was talking about getting wind turbines up and running. Um... Power, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so we can do a wind turbine. We got lots of room. Um, we'll do even one gap because we got to make sure we can walk past that or else we're going to have to walk all the way around to get to that spot. Uh, so we'll do... I don't think fences fuck with this. It's a half building. What I was actually thinking is we can go uh, one, two, uh, and then third one right here well that's gonna make it you know what let's do it right here I, i'm pretty sure this fence is not gonna be a problem uh it's not what i wanted the game um we'll put these right up against the fence that way it doesn't really cause any movement issues uh and then we're gonna want to get this going right now because we need the power uh, uh damn it the reason i said i didn't want this is because i didn't want to get batteries I guess we're getting batteries. I, I don't like the idea of running off of wood forever. It's just one more thing that needs to get done around here, and that's not ideal. Um, and we also got to get this clothing moved, uh, because we're going to be fucked if we can't move stuff. <laughs> we got so much crap everywhere. Okay, can we get rid of these? No power. Oh, still no power. Um... Do you fucks want to buy my ducks? No, you didn't. We already looked to see if you had food. Oh, that's done. Uh, we need power conduit. Uh, so can we get that running in like that? We'll get zombie to do that. Force it, please. Uh, so and that will fix our power, assuming we got wind. And then we'll get ourselves the other oh, crap up and running all the batteries and circuit breakers. Really didn't want to do it, but again, like I said, it's not like I want to do wood forever either. Uh, zombie, you didn't really... Oh, there you go. You have to do an in and out thing. Fine. Hey, there's one left. Thank you, Kurt. Okay, so then we should have power now. Uh, Phil, we do have agriculture artifacting. Oh, we got lots of traders. Lots of traders. Um, can we have... Who is our social again? Uh, Costai. Can I get you to... Talk to the agricultural... What the fuck? Oh, we don't have... Beacons, it just doesn't end. Um, I guess we'll toss one there and we'll toss one in here because we are going to be allowed to sell food if we want. Um, 
Zombie, can I get you to do this, please? One more. Uh, and Costai, since this isn't going to take long, can I get you to come and stand right here? And uh, we'll buy raw food and turn it into meals. Uh, we'll deal with that in a sec. Hey. You're doing it. You're hauling components. That's fair. We need to get these inside. Hey. Okay. Can't wait to get the cleaning done, too. It's so disgusting everywhere. Cleaning is one of those tricky things. Um, can we have the agricultural? It'd be real nice if... Oh, wrong person anyway. It'd be real nice if the they didn't end up leaving. Perfect. Okay, take my fucking animals. Um, before we do that, we need to set up an auto sell. So, uh, this actually works these days for me. It never used to, but we're going to want to grab uh, from the current save from Cape Mirage. Uh, we're going to want to take... Mm, pretty much just sell animals, I guess. I'm not sure why this is here for recon armor. Oh, because it's recon. Yeah, I remember. Um, so that should be fine. We should be able to just take that one. Uh, so then animals should get auto sold now. Costai, do this. That's wrong. Do. I don't know why. One more thing. Uh, I didn't want that. We want trade behavior. We're going to want. This map tile doing auto trading. We got Costai doing it automatically. We're going to allow a double repetition. Uh, that way, if, you know, they're here and we sell them some stuff and then they're still here and we have more stuff to sell, we can do it again. Uh, and then you can do that. Get rid of all those fucking animals. Now we're going to have to move that silver in. Um, what we'll do, I guess, is just go agricultural, buy what we can because they may not be here for long and we have 10,000. Uh, so we're just going to buy all of them are basically the same price. Um, we can just, there's no meat, sadly, just like that much. We don't need that much. We don't need, we don't need a fuck ton. Oh, let's say 2000 should be more than enough. We can buy more if we need it. That'll get us going. Uh, we'll get all these hauled urgently. We'll start making some simple meals. We'll get meat growing, which sounds weird, but it is what it is. Uh, so then we're going to want lavish and simple. Uh, we could do that forever. We'll do that forever. We'll drop it, drop it. Uh, we're going to want this to be, these are the lavish meals. Uh, that's allowed everything, but we want a limit of that far. Uh, for the simple meals, we are going to say, since I could see meat being our problem, we're going to say no meat allowed. Uh, so then only our veg will go into, only veg goes into simple meals. And then if we have meat, lavish meals get made. And they get made forever because we're never going to really want to limit. Um, because lavish meals, you know, this base is only going to be running when we're here to make food. So we're going to be making lavish meals. And if we don't have the stuff for lavish meals, then we make simple meals which we could sell. Which should be quite profitable and help uh, maybe even buy meat to, <laughs> to make up the difference we lack. I doubt it. We'll probably just try to find a good balance on the fields. Uh, either way, that fixes our food problems slightly. Um, we do still need uh, to copy this. And I never did set this up for a range. Be approximately there. Uh, so then we can copy these again. We're going to want to link it. Link it and link it. So now food should start getting made. Uh, we got a light in here, but it looks a little dark. So we'll stick another one. It's not going to make much difference. It does. It's, I think it's just the dirt makes it look dark. <clears throat> but... That's good. Everything's looking good. Uh, is this getting filled? Not even started. So if we want to save any of this crap, we're going to want to deal with this. And get a power conduit running. Uh, cremate corpses do forever. Minimum range. That way we don't run across the map to do it. Only if it's in a stockpile. Uh, I guess we don't need a drop. I guess we could drop it. It doesn't really matter. And that should be good. Uh, we're going to want to set meat hooks. Was the first thing I grabbed. Uh, that's going to be critical for not animal but human like. Uh, and I guess we could allow colonist corpses in there, but for this bill, we're going to want to turn that off because we don't want to cremate colonists. We want to resurrect them if possible. Uh, and then this was ready to copy. Uh, we can do any others on map because it should be only these here. That's ready to go. So all these corpses should then get moved. Um, we do have whole plus on, so people should get that done. Um, then we need to get this ship loaded. Because otherwise it's going to be a fucking mess. Uh, can we get you guys to all 
force that for a sec. We also should force that agave so it doesn't go bad. But it shouldn't take long. Although they do have to do one stack at a time, so it might take a little bit. Uh, either way, we got a cougar, which is going to be a problem for Kim. Um, and Kim, uh, you have all these weapons on you? Oh, you're doing hauling, that makes sense. Just come in, let the turrets assist. It's going to be a lot better when we have our field turrets set up too. Okay, uh, and then all these chunks are going to have to go. I'll do these ones after, because we got a lot of other things that need to get moved. Uh, you guys stop hovering over this. What I will do though is move those out of the doorway at least. And we have... That's fine. I prefer if you didn't, but what can you do? It's just drugs. Uh, and okay, now we have something actually to deal with. Um, what do we got? A bunch of mega sloths. Not a good map tile to be doing it on. Uh, can we... Okay, so who does have weapons here? Yes, yes, and you have more coming in. Yes, 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 yes. Are we basically everyone's armed? Everyone's armed. Uh, so we'll take everyone except for Sally. Trotsky as well because you're a wimp, so we don't want that. So you, no, no. Uh, we'll keep Stoyan because you're injured and... Uh, everyone come. And then we do have some turret assistance. Sadly, we don't have any of these actually properly built with entrances, so we can't hide within these. Um... But I think mostly they should go for this. And we have quite a bit of turrets here that should be able to make quick work of them. Uh, and we have starvation, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, can we get you guys to hang out on this side of the fence just for safety? I don't want to get trapped here if uh, we're going to end up getting fucked up. <laughs> uh, and then you guys are assisting as well, which helps quite a bit uh, because they're already basically dealt with. Beautiful. Okay, good. Uh, and then we need to do a finish off and we're going to want to haul urgently on everything. Uh, we have our bill. So we are going to be sending them back and we have a C. Oh, why can't they leave us alone here? Um, that's a problem. Because they are going to have good weapons. Um. Shit. <clears throat> and we're going to want the mercenaries for this. So we won't pay our bill just yet. Or uh, not pay, but we won't send them back just yet. We didn't get all the floors done, but that's luckily... We got the big part of it done. And for 10 days, I'm pretty not unhappy with how that went. Um, okay, let's see what we're up against here. There's a lot. We might want to send over some people. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but I'm looking at what we are and what I know. Yeah, they got a laser minigun for one. Luckily, it's poor. Uh, they are going to be sieging us, so we're going to want to bombing run them. To get them triggered at least. Because uh, we're not going all up in that. And go... Four. Uh, and then we'll grab... Doggy to load that, please. Uh, and please grab a four stack. I know that there's some two stacks around that you love grabbing. Uh, and then... I guess we'll just have to... Give it a sec. And you grab the four. Perfect. Yeah, I don't see this going super well. How's uh, the turret layout on the front side? That needs power, but pretty good otherwise. Um, of course, we get no wind. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I could see wind kind of shifting at least... How much is that? Uh, at least 200 watts worth by the time we are hitting that. Uh, you guys are leaving, that's fine. That's been done. That's been done. Uh, Spook, I know that you're about to eat, but can we take this? Or moving or doing whatever you were doing. Uh, can we get you guys to do a carpet bombing on... A lot of shells there. Uh, if we get lucky, they'll be standing there when they blow. And we don't want to go from top. Um, we'd say something like that. Like, that should be fine. It's going to take a little bit for that to go through. Uh, you also overdosed. Are you, like, dying overdose? No. Fine. Okay. Let's get that coming in. Fine. Not a whole lot of people standing near these, sadly. Um, if they finish these, then they start construction on this before. That would be nice. And there's our run. So we're not going to get much out of this, but it should trigger them. Yeah, at least we got that going for us. 
Um, okay, so then we're gonna need people, and we're, I think, this building, they should basically ignore that. I hope. Uh, so then we can grab all of you, uh, all of you except for you guys. Can you guys come right around here? They don't really outrange us or anything, so it's not that bad. Uh, it's just, you know, they got the armor and the weapons, and that's where the problem comes in. Uh, I'd really like to grab that minigun, though. Because I think we're trying to make one. Yeah, we were... You know what? That um, sniper is probably done, now that I think of it. Or it's still sitting right there on the ground. It's still sitting there right there on the ground. Okay, so maybe my laser isn't done. I just wanted to try it out. Uh, Trotsky, not a good place to be going. I know I told you you didn't have to join us, but it doesn't mean go towards them. Uh, I don't think there's much I need to do here. Uh, Trotsky probably would be best not hanging out outside. You could stand there by the turret. But yeah, I figure that's basically what's going to happen. They're just going to come in. Uh, so are you worth grabbing? Uh, eight hours, death acidifier. You can do great memory as a and medical shooting. I will take you. You're not bad. Um, can we get a zombie? Since you have a body shield to catch. We don't have enough beds. It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, let's just go like this. We'll get you sent over to the other base shortly. Uh, zombie, can you come into a capture, please? The rest of you, can I get you to take a run up this way and shooty shoot a little more? Uh, what are you? Oh, you're the minigun one. You might dead. Oh, it destroyed the weapon. Stupid acid fires. It's fine. Okay, you guys are good to go. Uh, and then Madhouse, you're going to be a problem if you really want to go up that way with them. <laughs> um, you're going to be fine. Also, uh, go free, go free, go free, go free. I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, so and that's all good. Uh, we can do a little halt urgently for all that. Uh, we do got to get power up here, so we can do power conduit. And it's not going to be pretty, but we'll run it along where... Oh, that's not right. Uh, we'll do it along where the railing will go. And just connect up just like that. That'll be fine. They're invisible. We don't see them. Uh, so and that's looking good. That's looking good. And people got to go. Um, so, Bill, we are sending all of you back. One, two, three, four. Don't need them. Uh, no one's happy, so we would have had to pay extra anyways. Uh, no discounts. No nothing needed. That's everything. Uh, and then we're going to get our guarantees and everything back. Uh, which is going to be quite a bit of money. Um, it should be 60000 in change. The change being that one uh, crappy one that we got. But, yeah, it should be pretty good. And if we do get 60000 in cash back, then, yeah, we technically profited off of this, even though that wasn't really the intention. But um, discounts kind of are weird. Um, it's going to take a minute to get that going. Uh, but once you're all healed up, we'll get you sent out right away because we need these beds. Other than that, though, I think we're in an okay position. Um, it would be nice to... Where are you? You're resting. Uh, before you rest, can you get this bench done so I don't have to worry about wood? We also gotta get all this shit hauled. Got so much that he's doing. Hey, Doug Das, um, what are you up to in here? Sleeping. Trotsky, eating. Fine. Rostai. Uh, Trotsky, you are going to do what? Unloading inventory? Fine, fine, fine. I was going to get you to force these two. Uh, here, do these. That way we get the chunks out of there, please. So we have a little bit more room. Um, and then we'll send the prisoner over in the clothing one if we can get this loaded up anyways. Got to get a lot of it loaded up. <laughs> uh, so can we get... Stoyan, what are you doing? You're cleaning dirt. Can I get you to force load that, please? Can we get... Trotsky, you failed. When you're uh, done that, can, we'll get you doing that as well. Uh, you gave up on that. Apparently, you don't want to do this anymore. Uh, you are healed up, ready to go. Okay, so that needs to be uh, anesthetized. And we get Farva to... Stoyan's about to do it, but we'll get you to do that. Thank you. Um, Stoyan, um, load this. Trotsky. You fuck. Still didn't do it? Why are we canceling constantly? They must be busy trying to do other shit. <laughs> Barbara, what are you doing? Eating? Okay, that's fine. You got shit to do. Okay, okay, okay. I just wanted stuff to happen. Um, so we're not going to be able to send all the clothing over with this person if we already have them anesthetized. 
<clears throat> um, and everyone decides that they don't want to participate in loading this ship in any reasonable way. So, uh, fuck you. Everybody do it. We'll try to get a few things in, and then we'll stick the person in before they, uh, get anesthetized. But, they all wanted to be difficult. All I wanted was this ship loaded, so we had some room. We have an infection, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, so then you're gonna want... Better meds, and we're gonna want a... Or Stoyan. Uh, can you tend? Make sure that we don't lose you to an infection. Thank you. Okay, and now this is moving. There we go. Okay, and then you should be good. So we got a... Here's our guarantee. Um, yeah, we, we did end up getting the full 60,000. So yeah, we did technically make money off of that. Not a fan, but how can I not use uh, the discounts that I get? <laughs> I think that's more of the mod's fault than my fault. I'm not going to do it to take advantage of it. I'm not going to hire like 500 people or anything, but I'm not going to not take advantage of the discounts. So uh, it seems like a them problem, not a me problem. Uh, that's probably good enough. I'm just looking, I don't know how much, I don't know how long this lasts. Ah, shit. Eh, it's not as bad. Um, okay, so uh, we need to get shit done. Um, we'll call this good. Uh, we'll cancel. No, I don't want to cancel. Um, I want to reload. Uh, we'll grab no prisoner. And why would there not be a prisoner? One's done this. Yeah, let's uh, these items might not even exist. Okay, so then that's technically full. So, why can't I add our prisoner onto this? <clears throat> um, is it because it's already a partial fill? Yes, it is. So, we're sending two ships, I guess. Which was kind of pointless in force loading that as quickly as possible, but whatever. Um, can you go and load that? We'll, I guess, keep loading this with more clothing. <laughs> um, since they don't need to send it back and it's not full. Uh, so we could at least, oh, there's no more clothing. Uh, we at least get the, or none in storage anyway. We could at least get this cleared. Uh, so that's going to be fun to set up. We'll get that going right now. Uh, we still have stuff in here that needs processing. That conduit needs to be run in. We need all of these blocks out of the way. Um, for now, we'll do just normal hull. I doubt that's going to get done anytime soon. But, whoops, I didn't want to haul urgently that. I'll let them do that one. Uh, but that's all fine. So then we don't need none of this. We need to get batteries up and running because this whole no wind thing most of the time is really not good for us uh so we could stick some back here these are both going are you in here yes so we'll do it back there um and i did forget that we were getting siege i'm so bad at remembering that uh so what are we up against lots uh no explosives so we got going that going for us uh we're gonna want to get ourselves our oh my god there's our clothing guarantee i didn't realize that uh they would have been forbidden um, yes, we want to get that loaded, uh, so we can go... It'd be real cool to have some anti-grain warheads and never have to worry about having to bomb shit again. Uh, load that, please! And I guess we don't need none of this map. Get rid of it. Good. We still have extreme break for Farva. It's fine! No one's going up that way for anything. Hey. Okay. Yeah, Mirage, don't go that way, please. smite time to go in uh so then we can do a carpet bomb over it'd be cool to get some of the better ships too uh because they also do have a higher bombing and wire bombing range capacity uh but it looks like we're gonna want to go we're definitely going to be hitting a lot i'm looking definitely hit these shells and it looks like we're gonna hit this one and this one and then that one might get triggered I looked away at the worst time. I wanted to make sure no one was coming, but there we go, they're coming. Uh, so we'll just grab everyone. Uh, this should be able to hold up fairly well on its own, I think. Um, that's full health. We could get our minigun to come in as well, uh, which is not at this base, so that's not gonna help. Uh, we could send that one over. Can we get this fixed, please, divider? Uh, can you do a capture? You. Okay, and then people aren't gonna be here quite quick enough, uh, but all these snipers and stuff around should help. Uh, Mr. Up, do we have anything fun we could do to make a mess? Not really, other than Chaos Skip, uh, which we could use against melee units that come in and try to cause some shit. 
Thank you. Fuck off. Thank you. <laughs> um, you guys are coming in with gun. Why are you coming in with gun? There is so many enemies. Um, Peyton, that's not a good way to go. Can you come back over this way? Uh, you guys, stop here. Stop here. You're going down that way. This asshole is coming up that way. That's fine. Man, come in. Um, it'd be probably a good idea to back these guys out a little bit. Where's uh, the grenade launcher, actually? There. Hey, all of you. Uh, I hope you haven't gotten a shot off. I don't see anything that looks like it could be a grenade. Can we uh, kill this asshole? We're still walking. Good. Um, and then we're going to have to move this ship out. Probably. Um, you guys, bad burrito. Benz, can you fight? Yes. Join you guys and you guys uh, push forward a bit. Eighteen and Raylene, uh, we'll both get you hanging out right there. Okay. And we got a lot of people coming in. Can we get you guys to back out? I don't know where this grenade. It's down. Good. Uh, there's no more other grenade launchers, right? No, because explosions are basically the only real threat that we end up with. Uh, we'll try to back everyone out a bit because the turrets and stuff uh, this has got to go any second now yeah let's do it now just so i don't uh, get distracted and lose it uh so and that's now officially out of the fight uh so we can launch it launch it and move it somewhere out of the way where it's not going to participate because obviously it's full health again because of no control um there's so many enemies coming in. Uh, let's try to get these guys. Wade Jr. should not be here. Although you are a masochist, so it's not really a big deal if you get hurt. But you have the brain finger, and I'd rather you not be miserable. You don't have a whole lot of uh, coverage either. If we hang out at this, are we going to be able to reach far enough? The one way to find out... I guess we'll just stop here. There's not much more point going further and further in. You're going all the way over there. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Hunter, okay, that's fine. Oh, Spook got up and back down. Uh, and then you guys are getting circled on. Um, can we... You guys actually should be fine because we got all these turrets around here. Uh, so we won't worry too much about it. Can we get you guys to go right here? Do you even have the range? Yes, you do. Uh, there's also quite a bit of down people. You guys are getting hit kind of hard back out. Uh, Coburn, uh, please don't. And they're all leaving. Okay, so we got down people we're going to want to grab. Um, we're just going to push everyone north. Over this way. Uh, I don't think I actually told you guys to go anywhere because it... I know why. Don't select Bart. You Go up this way. Uh, we could do an allow all, get everything hauled. Uh, we need some rescue, so we'll get Eden to do a rescue there. I know Divider was going to, but eh, it's not that much further. Uh, we got Parrot here that's going to... Oh, Patrick is getting fucked on the advance. Jeez. Patrick, go get treated. Um, Parrot, you don't look like you're going to survive. Four hours isn't too bad. Um, you can shoot and med. That's fine. Tayla, capture. Um, that's everyone so far? You're free. Coburn, you're free. You guys are free. I guess you guys are also free. I doubt anyone else is going down. Okay, um, so then we can get a whole urgently, get everything all nice and tidied. Um, you guys are still taking some pot shots out of, uh, at us, rather. And we need... Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> it said need rescue, and then it shifted, and I thought there was that many people that needed rescue, but no, it's just Raylene. Oh, why are you down? Lung, destroyed, brain. Fuck. It's not a big deal because we did get those uh, healer mech serums, but that really sucks. Uh, and we should probably wait a minute just to heal up other wounds so we don't end up like doing a head fix instead of a brain damage fix. Because I don't know. The game does some weird things from time to time picking what's technically the worst. And bubbles, can we not? Oh, put a fucking gun on. We're just going to push. See if we can get another knockdown. They're going way too slow for me to care to wait. At least get a bit of cover. If we go down, I'm going to be very angry. Just fucking hit them. They're out. Thank you. Oh, and you're ready to get picked up. Uh, two hours, not going to happen. 
Uh, not horrible either. We have no ability to... I was told uh, I should grab the mod Stabilize. Um, we kind of have something that's similar to that. And uh, it, you just can't do it on prisoners because you have to capture them first. It's two hours. It's not going to happen. We're going to try just because. Uh, and then we could also... Okay. Um, all urgently on those. I don't know if we, it's time for that yet, but we'll do that. Uh, we have a settlement. Uh, that one shouldn't need any help, but we'll do it if we can. Uh, so we'll send that as well. <clears throat> Oh, uh, one thing that we will do, uh, and it was recommended. We are at time, so you know what? We're basically done. Um, let's screw around with this. So um, I was told in the comments that the reason that our bases, our outposts are failing our defenses, even though we're a higher level, is because I don't have a military actually set up. Uh, that is not the case. Oh, we're also going to set these up real quick. Okay, let's do this. I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, so uh, I was told that basically the reason that my some of my uh, defenses have been failing is because we have been sitting. Oh, what do we want? I'm no good at talking. We'll try to figure out this stuff. Uh, I'll this way. Okay, there we go. We got those set up. Um, okay, so yes, uh, for Empire. So I was told that um, I was failing because I don't have militaries set up for all of our bases. Uh, and that's not the case. That's not how these work. Um, at least as far as I know, the reason that this option for squads, and if we look, we have a level 11, we have 61,000 uh, cost max. Uh, what we can do is uh, deploy squads and stuff. And basically what this system allows you to do is build up your own uh military so we can I, I don't know exactly oh we have to create uh so we can do like create a squad this would be um just for my sake sixty one thousand uh p that way we know it's sixty one thousand points worth uh and then we can uh set point reference oh i could have just done that for a point reference but there's our cost so uh we could then build pawns uh, which we got to create here individually um, so then we can be like, um, this would be general combat. So we could say this is just going to be like an assault rifle person. Uh, they're not going to be a civilian. They're not going to be a traitor. Um, they're going to be a human race. We can, you don't need an animal for a helmet. Uh, since we have 61,000 to work with. Oh, do we not have armor here? Like power armor stuff. Um, so it looks like. I think the medical helmet is actually better. Um, so we'll go with a medical helmet. Uh, we can go with ourselves a normal t-shirt made of cloth is what I was looking for. Uh, and then we can add a shield belt, but we're not gonna be doing melee, so we don't need it. Um, I, I'm not sure why these are so limited in how much, what items you can pick. And I don't know why we could wear warg armor as pants, but uh, I was kind of thinking that armor would be in here too, but it doesn't look like we have many options. Uh, but that's going to be cloth uh, for our chest. We can't even get uh, anything, uh, essentially. Okay, so yeah, apparently we can't really make good pawns. <laughs> this this might might have uh, this could probably use a little bit more options. Um, but I guess we can add in a duster, uh, and we'll do that as cloth because I'll give it a little bit more protection. Um, we don't have anything for the chest. For a weapon, we'll just give you assault rifles. Uh, battle rifle is fine. Uh, so then that's just a standard pawn. It costs 1100. Um, and then what we can do from there is that should be saved. Uh, we could then add a zero cost general combat. Oh, there it goes. I'm not sure why it's, sh oh, there it's showing it. Maybe the first one's free. Uh, but then we can add units and we can make other units as well. Um, but we can add units. And from there, these basically will do nothing. If I'm understanding how the system works, these will essentially do nothing forever. It, there's no point to doing this. But uh, we can call an assistance, if I remember correctly, on how this functions. Now, obviously, there are shit pawns. Uh, we should probably use better weapons since we have all the money to work with anyways. But we have a full squad of assault rifle people. Uh, so we can... That's it. Just do that. Um, and then we need to set this squad as that one. And we can also set this one as that one because we have enough points. Uh, these ones, we'd have to go up another level. But that's, we're not looking at doing that. Um, so 
Then, um, how else does this work? So we got deploy squad and order fire support. Fire support is artillery uh, because we do have artillery at these bases. No idea how good it is. I have actually never touched it. Um, but we should be able to deploy squad and drop them. Now I kind of want an enemy. Because I don't know how often we could do this and we only have two of them. Uh, you know what? We're just going to do it. Yep. We just call it in like that. Um, so, yes. I absolutely... Ooh. Okay. So, I've never actually touched this stuff. I had an understanding of what it does. And I just don't tend to call in friendlies or anything. Even though we get some options. Um, this is going to be something we should probably be using in the future. Um, even if it... I don't know if there's a problem with them dying or anything. But, yeah. So, we get a whole squad of the people we just made. So, that's... Like, we could drop that in on a, a raid or something, and that would help quite a bit. And then we can move? I don't know how that works. Select. Uh, oh, so we could have multiple groups in here. That's cool. So we could have multiple groups in here and control them at the same time. And then we could tell them where to go. That way, because uh, normal friendlies, when they come, if they come on the other side of the map, they'll hunt for enemies, but they don't always do the best job getting there. Uh, but that's nice for being able to move them around. Um, now, I don't know how long they'll last. They're now charging an enemy, um, and there is enemies around, so we'll make them leave. Um, and that's good. So yeah, um, absolutely something we're going to use in the future. Um, I'll make better squads obviously since the armors and all that don't seem to be working properly they're kind of limited i do we will have to test it on an easy one to see what death is like because if we're losing faction relation uh per death like even if it's like five if 20 of them die that's a huge negative um but other than that uh we'll use our extra points since we're pawn limited on better weaponry since that's the only thing that would really be more beneficial uh, so then that would be like, I don't know if I change, uh, if I change this, so that change all of them. So then what we would probably want is like laser rifles would be a good pick and surprisingly, basically at the same price. That's not even much of an expense upgrade. Uh, and that puts us at 38,000. So now everyone has laser rifles and that's even more useful. Um, but yeah, other than the armor and all that, not really being fully here, uh, that's quite cool. I like this. I'm going to roll a new pawn. I got to test this. Oh, it's literally just a pawn look and a weapon. Okay, um, cool. That doesn't do anything there. Cool. Okay, well, uh, either way, we're not going to worry about that. So um, that's cool. We'll get these guys leaving next episode. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll start using these because that's going to help quite a bit. It's, it would have been so useful here. And I kind of wish I thought about it at the beginning of the recording session instead of the end of the recording session uh, because we could have used it today. <laughs> but uh, either way, that's something we could use in the future. But we are at time, so we're going to go ahead and end it off here. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I don't know where I'm going with this because I, I didn't do my normal outro and I'm all screwed up. But uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. See ya.